Hi, thanks for joining us online today. We're so glad to have you here. And so real quick, I just want to give you an invitation to join us for 21 days of prayer and fasting. Um, during these 21 days until March 27th, we'll be gathering in the chapel at 1210 for about a half hour of prayer, of encouragement for you, and, uh, and a little bit of worship. So we hope you can join us. Whether you're fasting or not, we'd love to have you join us. Now, one other thing, because we're not doing 21 days of prayer and fasting on the weekends, I do want to invite you to worship, which happens at 6.15 on Saturday night, Sunday at 10.30, and Sunday at 9 o'clock. I got those switched. you see what I did there? That's okay. Um, all three of those gatherings for the season of Lent anyway, um, until mid-April, will be down in the sanctuary because we're doing something special. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to show up to see it. So we hope you can you can join us, but we will continue pushing messages online here. And so without further ado, here's the message. Here's what you're looking for. Um, we hope it spiritually encourages you. If you uh, have any other questions or, or would like to know more about our ministries, visit us online at firstchurchnp.com. Thank you very much. And we appreciate the strings as well being with us today. You know, one of the things I love is I have these ideas and then I just give them to Micah to implement, okay? So um, I selected all these special music numbers for Lent and uh, said, oh, by the way, I think these couple or three might really do well to have a cello or string quartet with it. And Micah says, of course you would think that, Doug, right? So um, it is so good, so good. So I appreciate Micah, but Hallie, you did great, and um, appreciate our other musicians as well. Uh, I'm going to lead us in prayer. Just um, uh, the songs that I've chosen are all by one artist, uh, Lauren Daigle. And I just want to recommend her music to you. Um, almost all of her songs are prayers. And um, they're so intimate and so warm. Um, and, and just get right down to where I think most of us live, at least I think where I live a lot of the time. So I just want to commend that to you. So that'll be what we do. And I'm going to use these songs uh, partly as a basis. Of course, I use a scripture, but I'll use these songs as well uh, to just kind of reflect on uh, these as part of the scripture and God's word. So let, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for music that stirs our soul, maybe challenges our thinking a little bit, but also touches our heart. Jesus, your love is amazing. But sometimes we forget how much you're willing to do in us and through us and for us because of your love for us. And so I pray today that as we look into the scripture, as we reflect upon the words of this song in our own lives, Lord, that you might, in your own way, speak to each one of us. I realize that is a different message for each one. So I'm going to call upon the Holy Spirit right now to anoint this place and cover this place and fill this place with his presence and with his power, with his wisdom. Holy Spirit, speak to us at the point of our greatest need and give us ears to hear your precious word. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, I've got to move myself up a little bit forward. I'm afraid of kicking over the drums, so I don't want to do that. In the dark of night when she would trouble no one, she quietly and gently slipped from this life into the glory of heaven. It happened this last Sunday. Louise Wallace was one of the saints of First Church. Her love for Jesus, her adoration for the Scripture, and her humble way of serving others will leave a spiritual legacy that will inspire generations of Christ followers to come. Louise had an assurance, a deep assurance, that Jesus was always with her. If you went to visit her in her home, that was just obvious. She possessed this confidence when life was smooth and delightful, as well as in the times when life was bumpy and maybe a bit more dreadful. 
The confidence which Louise possessed grew out of a deep faith that Jesus loved her. And, this is an and, and that the angels of heaven were around her. A couple of days before she went to heaven, Louise commented to those by her side, the angels are surrounding me. Louise was fully aware of the angels all around her. They were preparing to take her home to heaven. And Louise, for her part, was ready to let them guide her. I'm reminded of the words of Lauren Daigle's song that Hallie just sang. It's titled Rescue. The song opens with a promise that we are not forgotten by God. She sings, you are not hidden. There's never been a moment you were forgotten. You are not hopeless. Though you've been broken, your innocence stolen. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS, your SOS. You see, there are times when I feel forgotten or hopeless or broken. There are times when I feel afraid or ashamed or alone. There are times when I've seen too much, I've said too much, or done too little. I need to know that my whisper quiet prayers are heard by Jesus. I need to know that my Savior is sending an army of angels to deliver me, to protect me, and to answer me. Look at Psalm 91, verses 14 and 15. It contains a promise of God. The Lord says, those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. Sometimes God the Father reaches from his throne in heaven and touches us with amazing grace. Or anoints us with awesome power or covers us with his indescribable glory. But there are other times when God the Father sends an army of angels to surround us. Psalm 91 verse 11 we hear, for he will command his angels concerning you, not everybody, concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. God promises to send an army of angels to protect you and to help you and to guide you. Louise saw many angels surrounding her. She knew those angels would guide her and help her and even encourage her a little bit when the moment came for her to step through the gates of heaven. The Lord had sent an army of angels to guard Louise. That's the word in the Bible. The Hebrew word translated as guard means to watch over or to take care of. That's what angels do. The Lord sends his angels to protect us, to take care of us, to guide us, and to rescue us us going back to the song again i will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night it's true i will rescue you there is no distance that cannot be covered over and over you're not defenseless i'll be your shelter i'll be your armor God will send an army of angels to watch over you and to take care of you and to protect you and to rescue you. But sometimes our faith is too small. We begin to believe what we hear on the street rather than what we hear in the scripture. What we hear on the street is that God sends one and only one guardian angel for each one of us. There's like one per person. But what the psalmist tells us is that he sends many angels to us all at the same time. Sometimes it's called a heavenly host. Sometimes it's called an army as it is in Psalm 91. But he sends these angels to rescue you when the power of darkness or the absence of hope or the oppression of evil threaten to destroy you. The song reminds us, I'll send an army. The artist is talking about an army of angels to find you in the middle of the darkest night. When the psalmist found himself in the midst of the dark night, he turned to the Lord God. I reference uh, Psalm 18, verse 28. It is you who light my lamp. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. 
It's the Lord who brings light into the darkness. It's the Lord who brings light into the difficulty or the discouragement or the disappointment. It's the Lord who brings light into the consequences of our sin. The Lord God is not ever going to give up on you. Just because you messed something up, just because you got distracted for a while, just because you drifted for a season, the Lord is never, ever going to give up on you. Listen again to the lyrics of the song. I'll send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. And then here it comes. It's true. I will rescue you. I will never stop marching to reach you. In the middle of the hardest fight, it's true. I will rescue you. I hear the whisper underneath your breath. I hear you whisper. You have nothing left. But still the confidence that a whole army of angels is coming to rescue me. And that army is coming toward you, but that army is also eager to walk along with you. And he comes to protect and to provide and to be present with those who love him with all their heart and soul and mind and strength. Psalm 91, verse verse 14. The Lord says, if you love me, And truly know who I am, I will rescue you and keep you safe. Those who love the Lord, those who trust the Lord, those who know the Lord will see the promise of God's rescue. And that's a choice we make to love and to trust and to know the Lord. And that choice grows a relationship with Jesus. And that relationship grows when I spend time with Jesus in prayer, or I listen to that nudging of the Holy Spirit, or I read the scripture and search for the word of God, or when I worship with God's people, or when I speak to others about loving Jesus. The Lord promises to send an entire army of angels to you to protect you and to provide for you and to be present with you when you love Jesus. I want to read Psalm 91, verses 14 and 16 again. It just has all these promises of what these angels will do when they're sent by the Lord God to those who love the Lord. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. During the days before she went home to heaven, we saw an army of angels standing around her. The Lord did this because Jesus loves Luis. And, there's an and, because... Louise loves Jesus. Those angels gave Louise comfort and strength and peace for that moment when she took her last breath and she passed through the doorway of death to heaven. I'm here to tell you God's word today is that he will do the very same thing for you and you don't have to wait until the end of your life. You can choose to love him and know him and trust him today. Open your heart and your mind and your soul to him and do that. He'll do these same things. He'll rescue and deliver. He'll answer you. He'll be with you. He'll give you deliverance and salvation and hope. I want to give you an invitation for this week. It's the first full week of Lent. I invite you to pray each day this week that Jesus will rescue you. I don't know from what you need to be rescued, but my guess is there is something in each of our lives that we need to leave behind and be delivered from that, to be rescued from that by Jesus. So I invite you each day this week to pray that Jesus will rescue you. And if need be, to send a whole army of angels to help that happen. I want to close with just the last few words of the song. It's true, 
is a promise of God. I love this. It's true. I will rescue you. Oh, I will rescue you. Let's pray. Jesus, I I don't know about everyone else here, but I've had some seasons in my life where I felt like I messed things up so, so badly that I didn't think there was any rescue possible. I lost my hope. My faith got small. I just about gave up. Sometimes that happens when we mess some things up. But Jesus, you just kept loving. You just kept loving and loving and loving. And even when I didn't ask, or I didn't even know, you sent angels around me to rescue me. And I know that Louise knew the same thing. And the writer of the song knew the same thing. And, and, and the, the psalmist knew the same thing. Many of us here know that truth too. But sometimes we need to hear your word about this again. Sometimes it's for us because we've kind of slipped back in to that kind of thinking and that kind of experience again. But the word of God today, even though it may be for some of us, it may be for some of us to share with another person who needs a whole army of angels to surround them. So Jesus, we come to you with humble hearts. For some of us, our hearts are broken. But we come to you seeking more of you and your love. So show us the way back to your heart. Restore our hope. Restore our joy. Restore our strength. Restore our courage again. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.